again. Double team. Oh, Kobe! Sent Eric flying. Now using his quickness. The cover! Big show! Welcome back, wrestling fans, to the first episode of our new series, The Dark Side of Popularity. Today, we delve into the fascinating realm of professional wrestling and shine a light on some of the worst performers who inexplicably achieve popularity. We'll examine their lack of in-ring skill and promo ability, questioning how they manage to capture the hearts of fans. So, let's jump right into it. Our first category focuses on wrestlers who lack the technical prowess and finesse that fans typically expect in the ring. One prime example of this is the great Kali. Standing at imposing height, Kali struggled with basic maneuvers and often appeared slow and cumbersome in the ring. His matches were some about his intimidating presence rather than in-ring skill. Despite this, he became a popular attraction. How did he achieve popularity without mastering the art of wrestling? The Ultimate Warrior was a larger-than-life character with incredible energy and a unique look. However, his in-ring skills were often criticized. His matches were chaotic and lacked tactical precision. Warrior relied more on his intensity and high-impact moves rather than executing technical maneuvers. Despite these shortcomings, Warrior's charisma and intense personality resonated with fans, making him a beloved figure in the wrestling world. Another wrestler who gained massive popularity despite limited in-ring skills is Goldberg. Known for his explosive power and dominant presence, Goldberg's matches were often short and relied heavily on his signature moves such as the spear and jackhammer. His limited moveset and sometimes stiff execution were evident, but his unstoppable aura and intense character captivated fans around the world. While the great Kali, the ultimate warrior, and Goldberg may have had their limitation in terms of in-ring skills, they managed to capture the hearts of the fans through their unique personas, power, and larger-than-life presence. It goes to show that professional wrestling is a multifaceted world where various factors contribute to a wrestler's popularity. Moving on to our next category, we'll explore the wrestler who struggled to deliver compelling promos. One such wrestler who comes to mind is Sid Vicious. Known for his intense physicality, Sid's promos often fell flat. He stumbled over his word and lacked the charisma needed to captivate the audience on the microphone. Yet somehow, he still managed to gain significant fan base. What was it about his persona that resonated with viewers despite his verbal limitations? Another wrestler who gained popularity despite his lack of promo skills is Rayback. Known for his intense physicality and powerhouse style, Ryback's mic work received mixed reviews. His promos were often criticized for being repetitive and lacking depth or nuance. While Rayback's delivery may not have been as polished as some of his peers, his high-energy ring presence and dominant persona resonated with fans, leading to a strong fan following during his WWE tenure. Lastly, we have Batista, who started his career in WWE as part of the stable evolution. While he initially struggled with his promos and lacked confidence on the microphone, Batista's imposing physicality and natural charisma quickly won over fans. As he honed his skills and gained experience, his promo ability improved, but it was his dominant in-ring performances and compelling character development that solidified his status as a major star. Batista went on to win multiple world championships and became one of the most popular and respected wrestlers of his era, proving that promo skills aren't the sole determinant of success in the industry. As we reflect on these wrestlers' lack of in-ring skill and pro mobility, we must remember the popularity in professional wrestling is multifaceted. It's not solely dependent on technical prowess or eloquence on the microphone. Personal charm, unique gimmicks, and the ability to connect with the audience on an emotional level can sometimes outweigh shortcomings in other areas. Wrestling is an art form that appeals to a wide range of taste, and what one fan may perceive as lacking, another may find endearing. Another wrestler who gained popularity despite his limited in-ring skills was Eugene. Debuting in WWE in 2004, Eugene portrayed a mentally challenged character with a childlike innocence. While some critics argued that the character was poor in taste, Eugene's portrayal resonated with a segment of the audience. His charismatic personality and heartfelt stories associated with him created an emotional connection that transcended his wrestling ability. Our final example is Hornswoggle, a diminutive wrestler who gained unexpected popularity in WWE. 
Known for his comedic antics and mischievous nature, Hornswoggle's lack of in-ring skills was compensated by his ability to entertain and engage with fans. Whether it was his involvement in humorous storylines or his interaction with other wrestlers, Hornswoggle's endearing charm endeared him to many fans, making him a popular figure in WWE for a significant period. While these wrestlers may not have been known for their technical prowess or eloquent promos, their unique personas, charm, and ability to connect with the audience on a different level allowed them to carve out a place in the hearts of wrestling fans. Wrestling is an art form that embraces a wide range of characters and styles, and sometimes it's the intangibles that make a wrestler popular popular regardless of their perceived deficiencies. And there you have it, wrestling fans. We've explored intriguing world of popular wrestlers with limited in-ring skill and pro mobility, such as the great Kali and Sid Vicious. While it may seem perplexing at first, their rise to stardom highlights the diverse preference and emotional connection that exists within the wrestling community. Remember, professional wrestling is a unique blend of athleticism, storytelling, and larger-than-life characters. Sometimes, it's the intangibles that create memorable moments and endear wrestlers to their fans. Thank you for joining us today on the dark side of popularity. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video, and let us know in the comments who you believe falls in this category. Until next time, keep watching, keep questioning, and keep enjoying the wild world of professional wrestling.